Welcome to my channel, A Woman in Physics. Yes, today I'm standing in the kitchen section of my little flat, but I'm not going to cook. Nevertheless, I'm standing in front of my fridge on purpose. Have you ever come home from grocery shopping, especially in summer, and all you wanted to do is put your stuff in the fridge? So you come home, you kick off your shoes, you go to the fridge and you put everything inside. And standing here, you can actually feel the cold air coming from the fridge and it hits not only your arms, but it goes down and you can feel it at your feet and you're starting to get slightly cold at the feet, so you're happy to close it again. And then you turn around to the table and you realize there's still something on the table. So it's better to put it in. So you grab it, you go back to the fridge and you want to reopen it. And this is actually happening. It's nearly as if the fridge pulls the door tightly and doesn't allow me to open it. Like it's glued to the fridge, which of course we know it's not. But why does it stick to the fridge? In order to understand this, we actually can have a look at physics. And I'm talking about a particular field of physics, the thermodynamics. When we look around us, we know that there's some air surrounding us. And of course, there's also air in the fridge. Now, the air in the fridge, we know, is colder than the air outside. And especially in summer, there's a huge temperature difference between inside and outside. Now, when I open the fridge, like I said, some cold air comes out, but since there is no empty space, some warm air gets inside. So when I close the fridge, actually the temperature inside is slightly warmer than preferred. So right now the fridge is working hard to cool this air down again. So. What does this tell us? Basically, according to a very general law that's valid for all ideal gases, the pressure of this gas multiplied by its volume divided by its temperature is always constant. So P times V divided by T is constant. Now, the volume in the fridge is constant. There is no changing of the volume of the air that's inside right now. But I said when I'm closing the door, in this moment the fridge cools down the air. So there's a reduction in temperature. But if the product of P and V divided by T is constant and the volume is constant but I'm lowering the temperature, then the whole construct, the whole term, can only be constant if the pressure is reduced. So this is exactly what's happened. When I'm opening the door and close it again, the temperature is too high and the reduction of the temperature reduces not only set temperature, but also the pressure inside. So there's a slight under pressure in our fridge that doesn't allow us to open it immediately. But after a while, since this is not a fully isolated system, there is some slight exchange, we can reopen it. And depending on how old your fridge is and how good your fridge is, this may take more or less time. But when you can reopen it immediately, then your fridge is probably very old and it doesn't keep the cold air in fully. So you should think about getting a new fridge at this time. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.